Hey, what's going on guys? This is always back with another tutorial of Revit Essential Training Series. So this video I'll be discussing room tags. So what are the rooms basically? Is this a room surrounded with four walls? We can define a room by using the room tags. If you go to your architecture tab, you have this panel room and area. Okay, so let's say I'll select this room command and I move my cursor into this room. As you can see, Revit automatically detects that's a room and it's going to apply that area to this room. So if I take my cursor outside and I click here, so I'll get the error message. So the room is not a properly enclosed region. So this is just the error message that room tag only works when it has the boundary. I'm going to delete that and let's apply some room tag. So select that room tag command and I'm going to just click here and click here click here just click here click here all right so now if i move my cursor in the middle this is basically not a whole area so i want to keep that as a kitchen and i want to keep that as a living room and this is our store so how do i do that so if you go to your room and area panel you've got this command called room separator so i'm going to click on it now what it does it's basically letting me draw a room object so i can select a line rectangle polygon all that stuff available here and I've got my general commands here as well so I'm going to select the line and I'm going to draw a line from here to about here and I'm going to draw another line from here to here all right so now I'll go back in my I'm going to select my room tag commands and if I move my cursor now as you can see Revit detects those lines and just keep that tag between these lines so I'm going to select this room I'm going to drop one tag here one tag here all right so i'm going to cancel out with my command now let's have a look at the selection first how do we select those tags so if i move my cursor to this wall and press tab it's eventually going to select that room tag as well so if you move around closer to your room tag it will highlight those lines and once it highlights just click and they will select that okay so now if you want to select those tags you need to take your cursor to the tag and just click it will select that and now i can update my room tag let's say this is a bedroom right so i want to try bedroom and i can even edit the number of that so let's have a look at the properties now i'm going to go and select this room tag and let's have a look at the properties so it's basically giving us 12 feet of our dimensions as well and it's going to give us identity data which is room number three and room so i can edit those uh, text here as well let's say bedroom and apply and it will automatically update that over there so you can edit two tags at the same time if i select this tag right so if i select this tag and i hold on my control key and i take my cursor here and i select that and now in the properties panel if i change that tag to let's say room seven i'm gonna apply that and it's gonna update on the bot tags so i've deleted my room tags now so we're gonna talk about a room tag numbering so how does that work so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start a room tag and i'm gonna apply a room tag here make sure your tag on placement is on so i'm just gonna apply one room tag here another one here and another one here all right so let's suppose that you've got a big building let's it's a structural building a plaza or like way bigger so you've got one two three room but you want to name this room this room and let's make a wall here let's make a wall here first and i'm gonna select the architecture wall i'm just gonna draw a random wall here all right so we got that room there all right so let's suppose that you want to name that 101, 102, and 103. So you know that you can change your room number tags and numbering as well. So let's say if I tag this room number, right? And I've got this room number four because Revit is following the number sequence. So let's say I'll just edit that room tag. I'll go to my properties by selecting this room tag and I'm gonna change that number to one no one and I'm gonna apply that it's gonna update that here right so now if I go and select my room tag and I just apply a room tag here as you can see that now I've got one or two so now Revit is following this sequence not that sequence 
So you gotta keep that mind where you left off. That's where the rabbit start tagging the room. All right. So one more thing I wanna show you here. If you go to your schedule room in the project browser. So now you've got your room numbers here. You've got room names here. So I'll select this column and I will change that to area. All right. So now I've got my area as well. So one more thing, we go back to our um, floor plan level one. And now let's say I'll draw another line. I'll just draw a little wall here. Just gonna draw another wall. All right. And okay, so now it's giving me insert conflicting wall joint line. I don't care. So I'm just gonna delete that wall now. And I'm gonna apply a new room tag. I'm just gonna drop that room tag here. Now I've got an error. Multiple rooms are in the same enclosed region. So I'm just gonna click OK. And let's go to our schedule, room schedule. And now down here, room number one or two and one or three. So now in the area, you can see that redundant room. That means it's telling us that if it's overlapping, any room tag, if it's overlapping, it will show up here. So these sheets we have available in schedule, door schedule, room schedule, a window schedule. They are really helpful sheets that you can check your details of your drawing. As you can see, I've got my area available here in these sheets. If I select that column and I can change that to, let's say, volume, all that stuff, you know, you need to play around with these. So, all right, so I'm just gonna go back to my level one now. So I've got my room tags here. So I'm gonna cover over and press tab and click and get rid of this room tag, right? All right, guys, one more thing here. I wanna show you that, let's say I've got my room five here, right? So if I select that room tag, it's giving me the area in the properties panel and it's telling me the perimeters and all that stuff. So let's say you want this room tag to go all the way to this wall instead of just cutting this edge and making this toilet a separate thing. So how can we do that? So if I just deselect that and I'm gonna select this line and hold down your control key and select that line, right? So if you go to your properties panel, you get this option, room bounding, right? So if I uncheck that and I'm gonna apply that and now let's go back and select our room tag. So I'm just gonna select our room tag and now as you can see that it's going all the way to our toilet area. So that's how you can just edit your room tags as well. Sometimes there's a closet in your room and you wanna include that as a part of the room so you can do that. You can get rid of these lines from room bounding. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. If there is any question, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer that. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.